Here's Kevin Durant using the jab in the mid post to get to the basket. Let's take a look. All right, first things first. In the jab, using your jab, if you're a righty or a lefty, it doesn't matter. You know, righties usually should jab with your right foot. Lefty should jab with your left. Now watch the ball protection. Ball stays on his opposite hip because now he knows that, you know, as he jabs and the defender goes back, that he keeps that ball protected. All right, so now Gordon, the defender in here, doesn't doesn't know if he's going to drive it, you know, to his right, jab, jumper. He's got to stay neutral on this. All right, now as he jabs, Gordon shifts his balance. You see how his balance shifts right there? See the pivot foot in the left foot? Does not move. All right, doesn't move up on the drive. He drives, keeps that left foot planted, steps with the right, dribbles left, gathers with two, and finishes with the left hand. Here's Kevin Durant using the jab at the right slot to get to the block on a pull-up jump shot, going right. Let's take a look. All right, on most players, they like to create off their right foot. All right, I know every, a lot of players like to go off both feet, but mostly really good scorers usually go to their dominant foot. All right, here Durant faces up, keeps that ball on his left hip protected, Jamal Murray's in defensive stance. All right, he uses a jab. He hesitates and then gets to a two-dribble pull-up. Kobe used to always call it getting to his kill spot. He said, look, if I have the ball in the wing or the top, I know I'm either going to get to the elbow or the short corner on a pull-up jump shot. All right, here, Durant just takes his time. He doesn't rush. He waits till, he waits till Murray reacts to the jab. All right, he take, gets him off balance a little bit with the hesitation. And now he rips through two dribbles. See how he uses his body to fend off the defender. And then he gets to his kill spot and he pulls up. You know, being 6'11", 7 feet tall, obviously it's a, a big, you know, big reason why he got the shot off. But he does a great job on the drive, creating space for the jump shot. Here's Kevin Durant getting to the left again to pull up in the paint off that jab. All right, from the right slot. Let's take a look. All right, again, common theme, keeping that ball on his left hip. All right, on his jab, he waits for Westbrook to react to the jab. All right, once he jabs, you see how, Dur you see how Westbrook's balance goes to Westbrook's left, Durant's right. Now, he doesn't hold the ball after that. Once that, once that weight shifts on Westbrook, he keeps that left foot planted. All right, he doesn't slide it, doesn't pick it up. Takes a step, two dribbles, gets in the paint. Westbrook is on the hip and now sort of out of the play. Zubach, the defender, right underneath number 40, he's sort of buried in the paint. So when Westbrook backs off, he uses that little bump, that little step back, and then takes the uncontested jumper. Now another thing that you should see here, off the ball, you see how Booker sort of spaces out to get Gordon out a little bit. You don't want to have that defender sitting on your left hand, you know, with bad spacing because now on the drive, he could slide over and try to get the ball. All right, here there's enough space for him to jab, drive, keep the ball protected. You always got to look for that off the ball defender that could swipe at your ball. Now, if Gordon swiped with his left arm instead of his right, he may have gotten, you know, a piece of the basketball, but he doesn't here. He jabs, drives, gets to his kill spot right in the paint, pull up jump shot. Jack Bauer, I mean, he, he was my eyes and ears. You know, I'd use all of his scouting reports and you know, all of his information. It was a huge help for me.